and here we are. We finally have our patch panel. Yes, it's taken a while to get here. In fact, they had to send two of them because the first one went to a mystery address. I don't know why or how, but the guys were really good about it. They sent out another piece, which was great. And here it is. So we're going to basically replace that entire section there. It has got a lot of rust in it. Actually, you can see there's a whole line of rust holes right through there, all the way up into here. It's all bad. It's really bad. So let's replace the whole lot with this fresh metal. So we'll cut that out, replace it with that. And this is basically the last piece of the puzzle before we fit the rear quarter. Yay! All right, so I'm going to put that in place and just mark out our sort of trim line. It's kind of where we're aiming for. All right. Basically, everything below that line I've got to cut away. So as you can see, this panel was quite uh, corroded. There's a whole lot of uh, holes, basically, all the way along there. Uh, just, yeah, you wouldn't try and even weld that up. It's just, it's not going to work. So that can go in the bin. And we're going to fit our new panel, basically, along there. So we hit that with the air chisel in just the right spot and it came away nice and easy. So I'm just going to clean up this flange here where the panel is going to sit against and uh, yeah, move on. Managed to clamp it at either end. So just kind of push it into place and tack it as we go. Put a series of tacks in there, maybe bring that down a little bit. Push that in there and we'll make this fit. All right, helmet on. pretty damn happy with that so it's positions great uh, we've got plenty of tacks on there holding it in place so I'm going to start fully welding this in 
So what I'm going to do is just run a series of very small overlapping tacks is the way I'm going to do it, much like I did on the seams of the tubs over there. Uh, I find it's the best way of getting this all right, getting a good looking world without blowing through the panel. You know, you don't want to just go Brah! big long beads, which uh, yeah, is great on big thick metal, but on little thin sheet metal here, I find that just the series of interlocking, you know, little tacks, I think works best and it gives the best result. So. I'll show you what I mean. So sometimes you have to experiment with what works best with power levels and travel. Um, it's turned into a bit of a booger world up here because I used too much power and uh, it just wasn't working. But I find if I start on the fresh metal here and do a slight upward stroke, like that, and then half a world across, and go from the new metal Cross to the old metal, kind of half world deep, and just get in a bit of a, a rhythm. Last one wasn't great, but you know. But you can see what I'm doing, and you know, it's turning out okay. So I probably went a little bit longer than I would normally. I usually like to do them in two inch sort of tacks, so to speak. That's about four inches. So we'll let that cool down a bit. Don't want to put too much heat in one section. Otherwise, it'll just warp the whole panel and it'll be screwed. So. so, as I said before, I started off over here with the wrong power settings. I forgot I'd bumped the welder and uh, the knobs and that sort of thing from when I'd last welded cheap metal and had too much power and blew through. So, I went back and adjusted it. So, it's a bit of a booger world up here. But as I got into the swing of things, you can see these nice sort of interwoven tacks I find is the best way to do edge on edge like a butt weld of sheet metal so it just went from the clean metal the clean fresh metal up 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 and just overlapped each weld by you know like half a weld I get good penetration that way I find and I get a, a fairly neat looking weld that is easy to grind back later so we'll run a grinder over that later and uh, just clean it up a bit bit but uh, there's really you know we could just paint over it and leave it yeah no one's ever gonna see it once the quarter goes on there so anyway I'll move up here and I'll do a section up here sort of move the heat around a bit so we'll do a bit here do a bit back here do a bit over here and just move around a little bit let's keep going There's another two inches there. I'll probably go a little bit higher on the amperage at the moment. Uh, which way will go? We'll go up just a tad. See how we go.
boom, there it is. Look at that. That is awesome. I'm really happy with how that came out. So pretty much now, I'm just gonna remove all the surface rust back here. We'll probably do that with our sandblaster, which is on its way. Sandblast that back, put our panel on it, get it all in place. Uh, we have to go get a couple doors and a guard and line up the whole side of the car and then we can weld our quarter into place. We are up to that point. Yeah.